Hi YouTube, it's time for tutorial time with visuals again. Today I'm gonna show you how you make this to look something cool like this. That's awesome, but that's enough with chit chat. Let's get to After Effects. Hi guys, here we are in Visual Pro's editing studio. <laughs> and here I am on a nice day sitting, uh, standing uh, under a tree and boom. I got a headshot. This tutorial will be super easy because you just need one element. You heard right, you ju need just one element. And I actually have a download link in the description for this element. It's a uh, you have to download from Mediafire and that file is not big at all. But here it is. Yeah, I have it in my project. So I just drag it over my main comp and drag it to the timeline and as you maybe are able to notice this is all pre-keyed so this is all work has been done and if we go frame by frame you can go one frame at uh, a time if you're on a windows there's above the arrow keys there's six other uh, buttons and on the left on the right side there's like page up and page down page down is frame is forward and page up is backward so here we have our element looks super cool but we have to make it larger so we take our bottom left box and drag it a bit wider larger and put it about on our head but first we have to time their actual hit and there actually is that so when we look at this just previews it so look at this aww oh, that's so cool but actually the colors are not really matching the scene and I think the red is not that strong so we're gonna fix it. So we go here when we see about the whole all effects. We select our blood hit layer and go for effects and presets for curves. And then you could drag it uh, just on the blood hit, but I like to drag because you see when it comes to this big rectangle and triangle that's your comp but if you drag it on your where the blood is you see this other rectangle with a triangle so you just drag it here it's kind of the same thing okay to boost the boost the red so go for RGB to red take it out in the middle and drag it a bit up like this so now see the smoke is still gray but we boost the red color that's cool so now we go for to RGB and take a little bit down to make it a little bit darker maybe not that much could take the red a little bit down that this looks good bam bam that looks great all oh, that sexiness Oh yeah. Well, here's a few things I want to do. So, this is actually the headshot. It's not that hard. Actually, this is really, really simple. I can't understand why many YouTubers use a lot of blood just to make one blood hit it. Or maybe the professionals use this method. It's super easy. And as you may be able to notice, here is two layers. Uh, one, this smoke puff, which is, has been tinted red, and this other smoke puff, which has been lived uh, gray. And if we zoom in with the scroll wheel, so we see this um, just above my head, this blood splatter or the burst. You see it when it's unleashed. So that's to a part of this effect. So this looks super cool. There's one thing I just want to do uh, is uh, the color correction. So we put our blood so we see it all because we need to see it because the this 
color correcting will affect the blood so we have to maybe some change the settings for the curves later to boost up some colors but we go we can go to here where we have our comp or blood hit and main comp go under them and right click for new adjustment layer then go for effects and presets you could use uh, just gr uh, curves here and take RGB this a little bit down here here and the up a little bit up here so we just make a contrast layer but I'm not gonna g go do that that's a very great way to do it but I have another method I go for mojo for a magic ball from red giant I really recommend because when you drag it here look see that color it gives this blue green tint and when boost a bit this mojo so you will see that the blood will be affected so we have this but the blood is not good anymore so we go for blood hit again and boost the red up a bit and for RGB we go a little bit down so it gets a darker color oh that looks just great look at that look at that actually you can make this mojo effect with curves you just adjust the blue and green of curves and you will able to get to do it but yeah now I go here from 50% out to fit up to 100% select nothing and for the preview here as you see maybe you're not seeing my cursor but that's okay you see this yellow box on preview if you want to preview in full screen under the auto for frame rate skip and resolution auto go under it says full screen check that box and then when we have here what kind of preview we're gonna use so click on the most try right, the RAM preview so it looks like this and we're he hearing actually audio but you see this is actually super great that's awesome. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Post in the comments if you have any ideas for what what kind of tutorials I want I want to do. Next, I will make a green screen uh, tutorial. So stay tuned for that. Bye.